What is the fastest growing plant in the world? Read Bamboo Palm tree Carex Bamboo is the fastest growing plant on earth. In fact, the Chinese mosa bamboo can grow almost a meter in a single day. Bamboo grows in dense forests where little light reaches the ground, and there is strong evolutionary pressure to reach the sunlight as quickly as possible. It changed the internet forever. What year did YouTube launch? 1997 2001 1993 2005 It's hard to imagine an internet before YouTube, but prior to 2005, the video sharing platform didn't exist. The site actually got its start following Janet Jackson's Super Bowl performance, when the founders couldn't find footage of the infamous wardrobe malfunction online. Which of these animals has the shortest gestation period? White bear Guinea pig Opposum Hair After only 13 days of gestation, one female opossum can give birth to up to 20 babies. The only marsupial native to the continent, they are great critters to have around. Every year, one can eat up to 5,000 ticks. These islands near the equator, have equal days and nights all year round, and are home to some of the most diverse wildlife on Earth. What are they called? Canary Islands Antilles Galapagos Islands Hebrides The Galapagos Islands are famous for being the place, where Charles Darwin carried out a lot of his studies, to help him form his theory of evolution, and the area is home to an abundance of wildlife. You'll find everything, from birds and lizards, to penguins and turtles on the islands. Mardi Gras is known as Fat Tuesday, Shrove Tuesday, or Pancake Tuesday. What city is known for massive Mardi Gras celebrations? New Orleans Madrid Rotterdam Edinburgh The day before Ash Wednesday, is also known as Shrove Tuesday, this is a worldwide celebration. Venice and Rio de Janeiro are also home to some of the largest carnival and Mardi Gras celebrations in the world. The Bosporus, a strait between Europe and Asia Minor, which connects the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara, is one of the narrowest ones in the world. What's its minimum width? 250 meters 330 meters 1120 meters 750 meters Bosporus is 30 kilometers long with a maximum width of 3.7 kilometers at the northern entrance and a minimum width of 750 meters between the Ottoman fortifications. Its depth varies from 36.5 to 124 meters in midstream. In which novel can one find such reasoning, if a girl looks swell when she meets you, who gives a damn if she's late? The Catcher in the Rye The Great Gatsby 
Tender is the night. This side of paradise. The Catcher in the Rye, is Jerome David Salinger's 1951 novel of post-war alienation told by angst-ridden teen. Controversial at the time of publication for its frank language, it was an instant bestseller, and remains beloved by both teens and adults. What name of a Greek goddess, who cried tears that turned into star-shaped flowers? Harmonia Alala Astrea Echidna According to Greek mythology, the goddess Astrea cried, because there weren't enough stars in the sky. Her tears fell to earth and turned into the star-shaped flowers, now called asters. In Greek aster literally means star. The different colors of the wild flower also symbolize different meanings. What city did Julius Caesar take in 49 before Christ? Rome Mediolanum Brundisium Capua Forty nine BC was a great year to be Julius Caesar. He went from being an outlaw by decree of the Roman Senate to being the dictator of Rome. His famous moment of crossing the Rubicon was important because that was the boundary of his legal authority to use military force. By going south to Rome, he initiated a coup. Before she had her own TV show in the late 60s, this bubbly blonde was a star in music and movies. Who is she? Ava Garner Doris Day Rita Hayworth Rebecca Wells Doris Day recorded hundreds of songs, before trying her hand at Hollywood in the early 50s. Her blonde locks and bright smile were a perfect match for romantic comedies, including Pillow Talk, which co-starred Rock Hudson and Earned Day an Oscar nomination. From 1968 through 1973, she starred on The Doris Day Show, a sitcom in which she played a widow struggling to raise two sons.